Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Problem number 5, chapter 24, electric uh, potential. An infinite non conducting sheet uh, has a surface charge density sigma equal to 0 0.10 microcoulomb per meter squared on one side. How far apart are equipotential surfaces whose potential diff uh, potentials differ by 50 volts? Okay. So we are given a uniformly charged sheet, non conducting sheet, it must be. Only one side of it is charged with charge density given to us, charge per unit area is given to us, sigma, which is uh, 0 0.10, 0 0.10 micro coulomb per meter squared. Okay, micro coulomb per meter squared. How far apart are equipotential surfaces whose uh, potential uh, potentials differ by 50 volts? So we are having an infinite, very large, infinite charged sheet, uniformly charged sheet. So it will develop electric field in the space around it. We are showing electric field only on one side. And that electric field, you must be aware of, it is given by sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0. Okay. Sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0. You must have worked at it in previous uh, chapter, Gauss law. Sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0. Now, uh, let's suppose these are the two equipotential surfaces. Remember, equipotential surfaces are always perpendicular to the field. Okay, they are always perpendicular to the field. And physical distance between the two, physical separation between the two is, uh, that's what we have to find out actually. Yes, we have to find out that. Physical separation between the two is what we have to find out. Potential difference is given 50 volts. Okay, potential difference is given 50 volts. So what we'll do is, our plan is very simple. We'll find out first the electric field and then use the equation between potential difference and the electric field. Okay, uh, so electric field, as we know, is given by sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0. So E is equal to sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0. Sigma is 0 0.10 micro, so 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb per meter squared, so SI system, divided by 2 into epsilon 0 is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12. Okay, so everything is an SI system. So this is what we had to work out. This comes out to be 5.65, 5.65 into 10 to the power 3 volt per meter. So this is electric field developed because of this uniformly charged sheet. Now we have to find out potential uh, distance between these two equipotential surfaces. What is the potential difference between them? 50. Let's suppose uh, physical separation between them is D. So we know field and potential difference in case of a uniform field is simply E into D. E into D. We have used it in previous problem also. And remember the basic equation delta V is minus integral E dot ds. If you consider the uniform electric field, then you will uh, reach to this one E into D, potential magnitude of the potential difference. So this implies D is equal to potential difference divided by E. Now both of these we know. Uh, potential difference is 50 volts that is given divided by field we earlier found 5.65 into 10 to the power 3 5.65 into 10 to the power 3 so this comes out to be 8.85 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters okay minus 3 meters or in centimeters, we can write it as 0 0.885 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters, which is 0 0.885 centimeters. Okay, 0 0.885 centimeters. So physical separation between the two equipotential surfaces is 0 0.885 centimeters. That's all we were asked to find out in this problem. That'll do for this session.